Giga Chikadze is slated to fight Sudik Yusuf. Sudik Yusuf, he is number 12 in featherweight rankings, 5 foot 9, 71 inches of reach, low belt in BGG, 12 wins, 2 losses. He outworked Alex Caceres, he was better than Andre Fili, lost to Arnold Allen, and he was better than Gabriel Benitez, Shaman Moraes, Suman Mukhtarian, Mike Davis, this guy. This guy is a decision fighter with a lot of fight IQ and a great punch power, but uh, the former <coughs> Titan FC featherweight contender is going to meet uh, Giga Chikadze. Giga Chikadze, the former glory champion, and uh, six foot tall, 74 inches of reach for uh, Giga Chikadze. Going to have three inches of reach advantage. Comes out of Kyokushin Karate, Goji Ryu Karate, and kickboxing. Giga Chikadze is riding a score of 14-3 in MMA, which is awesome. He only lost to Calvin Qatar, and in UFC he defeated Brandon Davis, Jamal Eimer, Irvin, River Irvin Rivera, Omar Morales, Jamie Simmons, Cap Swanson, Edson Barboza. Giga is known for excellent angle change, but Giga is slowing down in the five uh, in the five round fights, which you could have seen in his bout against Calvin Qatar. But I need to say that his kicks are awesome. Also, his punching is awesome, kickboxing is outstanding, karate is awesome, and his angle change is brutally good. Sudik Yusuf hits harder. That's the only problem. The only problem for Giga is the fact that Sudik Yusuf hits harder. I do think Giga is better in every single striking aspect of the game. When it comes to clinching, Giga knows uh, to throw punches, some knees, it is C. Yusuf is also so-so in clinch. Unfortunately, on the ground, I do believe Yusuf is better. Which is expected because he, I mean, he is coached by Lloyd Irvin, but uh, I think Giga has excellent takedown defense. He showed uh, pretty much decent takedown defense and he knows to scramble back to get back on his feet. I'm gonna go with Giga for the victory, but this is tough fight to call. This is like 51% Giga, 49% Sudik.